Hi viewers, in the previous video, we have discussed about the incremental loading, that is part 2 and in part 1, loading files using the for each loop container. So those things we have considered. Now what we need to do is every time we rather than doing it uh, manually, so it is better to, it, it, it is better to uh, schedule the job in SQL server agent that is going by going into the ssms so if you go down you will be having sql server agent if it is in green that is sql server agent is running if it is in black or blue it is off that is not running so we need to make it as active so after that we need to create some job so in order to create uh, a job that is a schedule a job we need to deploy that uh, package this is the entire package so for that one solution explorer click on the for each loop so this is the entire so solution in that we are having this uh, packages our package is loading files and incremental loading so first we need to build that one so build succeed and after that we need to right click again so deploy so this wizard opens so click next so select SSIS in SQL server and this is the server name I having so click a connector then this will be activated so now browse so here I am going to select uh, this one sample so next uh, so deploy so the project is deploying so all the three things above passed and deploying project is in progress So that is passed so close this one so if you go into the ssms so if you go into the integration services catalog so in that we have deployed sample so in that we are having the packages we have deployed now so three things i have loaded so our things are incremental loading and loading files so these are the packages so what we need to do is now so go to the SQL server agent here click on the jobs and uh, right click and a new job so give the name as uh, project uh, part 2 so this is the server name no need to touch this one so go to the steps uh, so click on new so this is how you are going to schedule all the packages which are in the solution explorer so first one is loading files i am going to give loading files step so i am going to use a sql server integration services package so that will be by default SQL server agent services account will be coming so rather than selecting the SSIS catalog I am going to select file system so here we need to paste the package because loading files is the first one so go to the here that is SSDT so loading files is this one that is package so right click on that one copy full path so come back here so paste that one so ok so step first one finished next again new now second one is for increment loading incremental loading so incremental loading step 
so again SSIS so again file system so now for that one this is the package so click on right click on that one and copy full path so the path will be different for all the things so paste here okay so now two things we got here now schedule so again new so this is schedule scheduling part 2 project 2 so recurring no problem so weekly uh, daily i am going to give and i am going to give us uh, occurs every 10 seconds so okay okay so now no need to come here it is enough to stay back here so so how to check that one whether it is running or not so that is click on the jobs right click so here you will be having view history so see here every time if you refresh for every 10 seconds that package will be running automatically that is executing automatically 